Hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm very excited to do my second dual 360 build. This time we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Last time I did it on my Z370 XP SLI motherboard, which I've had for quite a while with an i7 processor. But I wanted to test another motherboard. Many of the comments that showed up in the first video, you guys were asking about, okay, what about this motherboard? What about that motherboard? Um, and I had answered some of those questions, but at the same time, I didn't like to say like, oh, this works 100% without testing it. So today what I'm gonna do, I'll be testing another motherboard, which is the Prime Z390A by Asus. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, the 3060s, the only way they would work is that if they are both sitting on uh, eight, both are having like eight lanes of PCIe uh, from the motherboard. They won't work otherwise. Um, this motherboard does support NVIDIA SLI and does have two 16, like physical 16 lane PCIe slots. And if you put two graphics cards, they switch to being in mode like X8, X8, which is, you know, eight lanes and eight lanes. So in theory, on paper, this motherboard should work. Um, so I wanted to kind of do this video so that I test it, so that it gives you another option if you have this motherboard of something that you can buy yourself uh, to consider it for your 360 build. It's uh, fairly affordable. It's not, it's, it's expensive, but it's not too expensive. I think I bought this for $230 um, from Amazon uh, and they had a sale on it. Usually it's 260 Canadian. Um, for the past couple of days, Actually, before we get to that, I wanna talk about what 360s we're gonna be putting on. This is uh, an MSI th uh, RTX 3060. Um, I got this off of uh, Newegg. Uh, I managed to get this one, it's still brand new. Um, so we're gonna put this bad boy in. Um, and I managed to get a white 3060 from Gigabyte, the Vision version. Uh, I actually got this from Facebook Marketplace. A local person was selling it and I kind of sent them an email be like, hey, you know, I don't want to pay ridiculous for this. I'd be willing to pay you MSRP plus like 50 bucks for your time or something like that. And they, uh, they accepted. Um, some people accept it because they don't want to, you know, they don't want to scop it or they don't want to, you know, sell it for double the price. Just, you know, some people are selling it for like double the price, which is crazy. Um, so we're going to be uh, putting these two cards in. Um, before I start the build, we'll do kind of like the usual thing where I do a time lapse and then towards the end, I'll apply the overclocks and see whether we, you know, are able to get at least 48, 49 mega hash on each one of those cards on this motherboard. But before that, I wanted to kind of tell you guys, tell you about something that I've been doing for the past couple of days. I had this motherboard that I bought off of somebody for like 20 bucks, I don't know, six months ago. It's the M2N SLI Deluxe by Asus. And again, on paper, this does support two graphics cards running in um, X8, X8 or times eight, times eight mode. Um, however, I, I wasn't able to make it boot. And this is probably something so silly that I can't figure out. Um, if, I put a, if I put like a very, very old hard disk, like maybe like a 10 year old hard disk with windows on it, this thing works but it's very, very slow. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put an SSD in um, and it would never boot. It would never recognize this as a boot device. I tried to um, uh, like put a USB stick with Windows, uh, with a Windows image on it. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't recognize an SSD. I read online a couple of things, but I still can't figure out. So if any of you can tell me why this motherboard doesn't recognize an SSD, I would appreciate that. Because I was kind of hoping that I don't buy the, 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 the new motherboard and spend money on it. Um, and I'll just kind of use this. It already has a, a CPU in it. It has an Athlon CPU, I believe. And I was sort of confident that it's going to work, but, but maybe I was wrong. Um, so let me know if you guys know why can't I boot from an SSD uh, Windows 10 64 uh, bit uh, on this motherboard. Uh, before we start, the CPU that we're going to be using is an i3-8100, uh, I believe. Yes, an i3-8100, also found it on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was selling it for 80 Canadian, which uh, isn't too bad given the current state of the market. And because I'm going to be putting in the, um, the, the PC in another room, 
I'm gonna be using a uh, like a Wi-Fi card. Um, I hope this fits. Uh, on the previous one, it, I, I couldn't fit it, and I had to like do something else to make it work. It's sitting in another room. Uh, we'll be putting in four GB of RAM, maybe eight. We'll see how things go. Um, and then finally, what are we do? What are we doing finally? That's it. This uh, PC. Um, I've already built this in, in the past. It has uh, 750 uh, PSU, 750 watt PSU. Uh, so let's just get going. It has a couple of fans and all of that. I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna put the new motherboard in and I'll see you guys towards the end where we get this going and uh, hook it up and see what sort of mega hash we're gonna get. So let's get started. Cool. All right, everybody, now that we're done with the build, I wanted to see basically whether the motherboard that I, I'm testing, the Prime Z390A, actually works or not. So I've, I've already, uh, I'm gonna remote into the desktop right here. Um, uh, I've already basically downloaded and installed the driver, the developer driver 470.05. Um, and I've already downloaded MSI Afterburner. I have my miner ready. Um, so all I have to do is basically start the miner and see that if it's working or not. Here we go, it's building the DAG file. Now, both cards are plugged in into a display unit. Uh, basically, I've got this monitor and another monitor over here. Eventually, I'll get these like dongles that I spoke about in my previous video. Um, okay, still building the DAG file. Cool, look at that, beauty. 41 mega hash, 41 mega hash. I'm gonna apply my um, overclocks and see what we get. Now we know from my previous video that I had set things up, I think at around, memory is around 1100 and I set my power limit to be 75. Let's hit that, see what happens. We should be getting somewhere around 48 Look at that, it's starting to go up. 43, 45, okay. I just wanna make sure that it's gonna be stable and it's not gonna crash. 48 almost on both cards. Yep, come on, you can do it. There you go, 48, 48, nice. Um, so that's gonna be it. Uh, the Z390A Prime from Asus works. Um, it's about 200 bucks, maybe 230 bucks on Amazon if you can find it. Uh, I put an i3 8100 CPU on it. Uh, what else do we have? 750 watts PSU. Um, just a regular case would work, nothing too special. You do need to plug it into, uh, plug both cards into a display unit or a display dongle. Um, in my previous video, I sent you, or I showed you guys a link on Amazon where you can find those. Uh, what else? Uh, that's it. So basically, any motherboard that has um, can run in, mo in X8 X8 mode, uh, basically two times eight PCIe lanes, 
um, and each PCIe lane has to be version 3.0, coupled with your developer driver 470.05. Some minor overclocks uh, should get the job done and you should be getting more than 48 mega hash on each card. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Again, this is sort of similar to the first video that I made, but I wanted to test another motherboard. I'll probably be, this is going to be the last video that I do about the 3060s and testing motherboards and all of that. Um, maybe we'll do another video about getting this over 50 mega hash or I don't know if you guys have any like other motherboard suggestions. I can, um, I can see if they're going to work or not. I do have another motherboard here that I wanted to test, but I don't think it's going to work. It's the X570 from uh, MSI. Uh, this is an AMD motherboard, but I don't think this is going to work. We'll see. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Take care.